Welcome students. So, we are in the process of learning about the preparation of the flexible budgets and uh, uh, in the previous class uh, we prepared the budget, the two statements uh, with regard to the flexible budget of this company, uh, Drake Shipping Company and uh, we learned about that how we prepare the flexible budgets. So, the first requirement of this case was that we had to prepare the columnar budget for the three levels of the 7, 8 and the 9 billion worth of the revenues. So, we uh, prepared that statement and then we try to find out that what is the what should be the level of performance uh, at these three levels of the revenue that is 7, 8 and 9 uh, million uh, dollars. And then we had to prepare the say summary statement or the variance analysis and then we did the we, we, we mis calculated the variances uh, one part of the variance analysis we did and there we uh, try to uh, find out the variances means the two types of the variances one variance was the sales activity variance and second one was the flexible budget variance and we found out that there are the variances means sales activity variances are ought to be there because we have brought down the sales activity from the budgeted level of the eight hundred thousand dollars or maybe sorry eight million uh, dollars to the seven point six million dollars or the seventy six lakh dollars. So, when the revenue has come down certainly the activity level has come down that we wanted to sell for 8 million worth of the dollars, but we could sell only for 7.6 million worth of the dollars in the market. So, certainly the activity level has come down. So, the variances were ought to be there and when the variances occurred in the activity level and the revenue came down. So, we expect that the cost should also be proportionately coming down. So, that part of the variance is be calculated and then we prepared the budget that was the flexible budget for the actual level of production that actual level of production and sales. Sales for 7.6 million we prepared first the flexible budget for that means in proportion to the reduction in the revenue from the 8 million to 7.6 million we prepared the flexible budget for the cost that is operating cost and the fixed cost. But still there also we found that there are the variances and there were the negative variances. So, if you look at those variances we found out in that statement the variances were <coughs> something like your say um, in the flexible budget variances we found out that variance of the 144,000 dollars and that to the negative variance was found means the total uh, your operating income has come down. The operating income at 7.6 million of the dollars uh, that expected income was 540,000 uh, dollars. When you bring down the revenue level performance level even comes down because of any reason from the 8 million to 76. 7.6 million dollars still the operating income should have been 540,000 dollars, but actually the actual income uh, operating income which we had was 396 uh, lakh uh, uh, 396,000 dollars. So, uh, it has come down from the estimated or the expected income of the 540,000 dollar. So, there was a variance negative variance of the 144,000 dollars. So, now means we have to analyze the reasons for that variance means the third statement which we will be preparing. I gave the title of that statement that the variance analysis and the summary of the performance or the summary of the performance and the variance analysis. So, when we prepared their summary of the performance we found out that there are the variances at the sales activity level which was 80 unfavorable and then the flexible budget variance which was 144. So, sales activity variance is not that means a big problem because actually the revenue has come down, but the flexible budget variance problem is, is the problem because your <coughs> flexible uh, income is the operating income at 7 point uh, uh, 7.6 million revenue uh, that expected was budgeted was 540 thousand uh, dollars, but actually it is 396 thousand uh, dollars. So, it means there is a negative variance of 1,44,000 dollars. Now, we will analyze that why this variance has occurred whether it has come up because of the operating income or because of the say uh, sorry it has come up because of the say variable expenses or the fixed expenses that we need to find out and if it has come up or these variances have come up total variance in the operating income there is a negative variance by 144,000 has come up because of say both the costs because the variable cost has also gone up, fixed cost has also gone up. In that case, we will have to be miss careful. First of all, know the reasons that on what accounts, but components of the variable cost have contributed to that cost. 
work what component of the fixed cost have contributed that to that increased cost and how to check that increase in the cost or the negative growth in the cost and say if impacting the operating income negatively we will have to check for that and then we will have to say uh, analyze it and try to find out the reasons for that. So, that next time these variances do not occur and your variable income is very much under uh, variable expense is very much under control and fixed expense should not increase within the given range of level of the revenue or the sales right. Now, we will prepare this statement and this statement is actually the, the statement called as the analysis of the variance statement analysis of variance analysis of the variances at actual revenue level of dollar 7.6 million or 76 lakhs dollar 76 lakhs. So, this variance should not be there. So, analysis of the variances at actual revenue level of the 7.6 million or 76 lakhs. So, if we prepare this statement, then we will be able to find out that on what account which variable cost has gone up and which fixed cost has gone up and we will check that that this cost does not go up in the next quarter or the purpose of budgeting is achieved. So, now we will talk here about the particulars right these are the particulars then we will talk here about the say uh, actual cost actual cost at the revenue level of the 7.6 millions flexible uh, allowance flexible allowance means how much was expected to be the cost and then the budget variance then is the budget variance then is the budget variance right. So, we have to prepare this statement and try to find out why these variances have occurred here right. Now, we will take here as the first head of the expense is what if you go back to the problem the first head of the variable expense is the fuel. So, we will say here that what was the actual cost of the fuel actual cost of the fuel is I uh, will take the figures in that amount in dollar thousands right. So, how much is the actual cost of the fuel at the 76 lakhs that is 157, 157 thousand dollars or the 1 lakh 57 thousand. So, it means actual is 1 lakh 57 thousand <coughs> uh, worth of the dollars and flexible allowance was how much what should have been the cost. 152,000 dollars means we are proportionately reducing it that for example, if it is given here that for the eight, uh, say 8 million worth of the revenue if the fuel cost is 160,000 uh, dollars then how much should it be for the revenue level of the 7.6 millions or the 76 lakhs. So, expected cost was in proportion to the reduction in revenue was 152,000 dollars actually we have paid is 157,000 dollars. So, it means the budget variance is there and that variance is by means 5 and this variance is unfavorable right. Then we talk about the repair and maintenance R and M repair and maintenance if you talk about what is the actual cost of the repair and maintenance at the 76 lakhs of the revenue that is 78,000 what should have been the cost the cost should have been 76,000 uh, dollars and there is a variance of how much 2000 dollars and this variance is again unfavorable right. Then you talk about the supplies and maintenance supplies and maintenance is now actual cost is how much 7 lakh 88 thousands should have been how much 760 thousands and then the variance we have found out here is how much that is 28 unfavorable right. Then you talk about the variable payrolls, payrolls. So, variable payrolls if you talk about is the actual cost is how much 50 let us see the what, what is actual cost for the variable payrolls the actual cost is 52 lakhs right 
52 lakhs and the allowance was how much? The allowance was as per the revenue level of this that is 5092, right. So, if you take this, if you calculate this, this is a very serious variance, very high amount of the variance and this variance is how much? 108 unfavorable. Actually, is 52 lakhs and expected was 5092 uh, uh, say thousands. So, means there is a variance of 1 lakh and 8 thousands, this variance is there which is a very serious uh, amount, which is a very big amount causing the larger part of the variances. Then you talk about the supervision. Supervision is largely the fixed cost. If you look at the uh, supervision, supervision is the part of the fixed cost. So, let us see in the supervision what has happened. Actual cost we have paid is 1 lakh 84,000 or 83,000. Let us see what was the actual cost. Actual cost paid is 1 lakh 83,000 and what was the allowance was 180,000 because it is a fixed cost. So, fixed cost is given to us is at the 8 million level of the revenue level of the revenue it is 180,000. So, at the 7.6 it was expected to be same if not coming down. So, but actually it has gone up by 3000 uh, dollars. So, <coughs> expected was uh, 180, 180, 180,000 and actually is 183,000. So, it means there is still a variance negative variance of how much 3 and this is unfavorable right. So, supervision is also causing the uh, variance and then you talk about the rent. If you talk about the rent, <coughs> the rent is same 160, 160, 160 was expected 160 is there. So, there is no variance. Then we talk about the next expense is what? Next head of the expense is the depreciation and the depreciation was expected to be how much? 480. It is 480. So, it is no variance has been seen and then in case of the other fixed cost OFCs other fixed cost if you talk about the cost is this is the other fixed cost OFC and this OFC is how much is the other fixed cost it is 158 actually and uh, expected was how much expected other fixed cost was 160,000 dollars actually it has come down by 2000 dollars because the actually uh, is actual cost is 158 it was expected to be how much 160 thousand dollars so it means there is a positive variance of 2 and this variance is favorable right now we calculate the total cost here total is how much total is actual is how much 7250 7204 7, 7, 7, total cost is the 7204 that what we have calculated it, it is given here 7204000 that is the uh, 72 lakh 4 thousands and say uh, the budgeted was how much? Budgeted was expected to be 7060, 7060 thousand dollars and there is a variance of how much? If you total it up this works out as uh, 5, 7, then 35, 35 and 1, it is 143, 146 and minus 2, 144. So, this is the same 144 which we found out in the previous statement, the same we have verified that this statement is or this variance is available with us and now we have analyzed these variances. Further we have dissected the flexible budget variances and we have found out the reasons for the increase in the cost and reduction in the operating uh, income by a sum of rupees 1,44,000. So, in this case if you talk about uh, we can say that in the variable expenses almost everywhere there is a negative uh, variance right various exp variable expenses have not pro proportionately come down in the same manner in the same proportion in the same amount how much was expected to be when there was a reduction in the level of the revenue from the 8 million dollar to the 7.6 million dollars then the same reduction has not been seen in the same proportion in the variable cost and we have seen at every level there are the variances fuel also we have used more by 5000 dollars uh, repair and maintenance also we have spent more amount that is by 2000 uh, dollars supplies and say uh, you can call it as uh, this uh, uh, machining uh, or this um, uh, supplies and miscellaneous expenses if you talk about we have paid 
a larger amount that is a 28,000 dollars we have paid extra as uh, compared to the expected expenditure at the revenue level of the 7.6 uh, million dollars and variable payroll is the cause of concern. Variable payroll is the cause of concern because the larger part of the variances that is of the total 144,000, uh, 108,000 have occurred because of the one reason that is the variable payrolls, right. So, now you can see that if you analyze the reasons for that, then we will have to find out why the variable payrolls cost has gone up and the second cause of concern here is the increase in the supervision cost. I told you many times that the fixed cost should remain fixed for the given level of performance. And <clears throat> when we prepared that uh, say columnar budget, 3 columnar budget for 7, 8 and 9 million level of the revenue and productions, then we found out that uh, say the fixed cost was expected to remain the same. The fixed cost is say expected to be 180,000 in case of the supervision was expected to be same for 7, 8 and 9 million uh, level of the revenue. So, 7.6 also comes in between this range. So, we were not expecting that the fixed cost will go up, supervision cost will go up, but it has gone up and this is a serious cause of concern. We have to find out that why the supervision cost has increased, right. So, from this analysis you can find out that with regard to the human resources cost, whether they are the factory workers or whether they are the office employees, the HR cost has gone up. Both are concerned to the human resources. Variable payroll is also concerned to the human resources and supervision is also concerned to the human resources. Differences, one are the contract employees working on the plant, second are the regular employees, permanent and permanent employees working in the uh, office or in the plant as supervisors. So, this gives us an idea that largely the reasons for this variance or these two variances are uncontrollable. Because human resource cost is largely controlled by the external factor and those external factors are labor market. When the labor rates go up and labor rates are not decided by the companies, labor rates are decided by the external factors, labor market, price index, income of the people and the level of the say skill level of the workers. So, means when the price index goes up, everyone is expected to increase the prices of human resources or the salaries of the workers as well as employees. So, if the price index is going up in the economy, the human beings or the human resources are becoming costlier. And if the human beings are coming becoming costlier, nobody can control it because if you do not jack up their salaries, they will stop working and <clears throat> means that is not something in our hands that you do not means hire the local workers, you bring it from the other market because largely the human resources are regulated by the governments also or their prices, their salaries are also regulated by the government to a some extent. Minimum wage rate is decided by the government to a larger extent and for example, if this case belongs to US or US market, then in that market the labor rates are largely means decided highly regulated market is that and they are decided by the government. So, when the say uh, labor rates go up or the employee, employee salaries go up, naturally the human resources cost is expected to go up and in these two heads we are seeing that variable payrolls also belongs to the HR cost and the supervision cost also belongs to the HR cost. In both the cases the HR cost has gone up. So, largely we have to avoid this variance, but we means not avoid, but we have to ignore this variance because this is something which has happened because of the factors which are out of control. <coughs> We talk about the other part that is the fuel. Fuel we have to see though the variance is not very high, it is only 5000. So, sometime it may be possible because fuel prices also keep on say fluctuating, going up and down. So, whether it has happened because of some extra use of the fuel, misuse of the fuel or the prices of the fuels going up which was not expected. So, we will have to check for that. If the reason was controllable, we will say make sure that in the next quarter no wastage of the fuels takes place. But if the prices have gone up, is again the uncontrollable reason. Similarly, you talk about the repair and maintenance. We have paid some higher price for that by 2000 dollars we have paid extra. So, this is again the variance, but can be ignored because it is not a very high amount. And in case of the repair and maintenance also, sometime to some extent human resource cost is involved because people also means work in the R and M area, repair and maintenance area and they are largely skilled labor. So, it may be because of that reason that the 
HR cost has gone up, the workers cost, the say technicians cost has gone up and this variance has been seen. Another reason is uh, another variance we have found out which is very significant by 28,000 dollars and that too in the supplies and miscellaneous expenses. So, first we have to check here what are the supplies, what are the miscellaneous expenses, why this such a huge negative variance has come up that is by 28,000. You can if you see this, this is the second largest contributor in the total variances of 144,000 dollars. So, we will have to find out the reasons for that, fix up the reasons for that so that these things do not occur again. So, this is a very big variance which cannot be ignored. And then if you talk about the other fixed cost, here we are seeing that the other fixed costs have come down means as against the expected level of the 160,000 dollars, it has come down to 158,000 dollars. So, we have seen a favorable variance here, but still it has to be analyzed. Maybe we had estimated the higher amount in the budget or actually we have done something which has caused us to go for this saving, we will have to check for this. So, if you look at all these variances, in total the amount is very high that is 144,000 of the variances, but means uh, we will have to check out the reasons for that and try to find out if the reasons were controllable and were not controlled, then we will have to take action against the people or those reasons who have not say performed their part. But if largely the say the reasons were uncontrollable, nobody can control it because of the external factors, because these reasons have come up because of the external factors, then I think we have to ignore it and we have to leave it to the time and the market situation that how the market responds. So, we have to increase the either the say for the say compensating the company for the increased HR cost or maybe the other cost, we will have to jack up the selling price and let us see how the market responds or how the market behaves. So, we will have to check that. Otherwise, more largely the reasons seem to be uncontrollable and we will have to means go with this. So, if we can recover this by increasing the price of the final product in the market because HR cost has gone up and it is not because of any one's fault, then maybe not normally the consumers, the buyers, the customers of the companies also accept the increase in the price. So, this, this increase in the cost can be passed on to the people, but the purpose of this exercise was to know about that the, uh, the actual level of the performance when it has came down from 8 million dollars to 7.6 million dollars, uh, how the cost has reacted and whether the cost has also come down in the same proportion, especially the variable cost. So, we have found it that neither the variable cost nor the fixed cost has come down in the same proportion, rather it has mis been more than the expected amount and we have seen the variances of the 144 thousands and which are negative variances right. So, up till this discussion if you look at these cases the three cases which we discussed, two cases with regard to the master budget and one case with regard to the flexible budget. So, if you look at these cases it involves two components because we are talking about the subject like management accounting. Management accounting means generating that kind of information which is very much useful to the management for the managerial decision making. Most of the information out of this can be presented to the top level management, maybe sometime at the board level people in the board level meetings to the board of directors and then we will have to help them to take the say right decisions in the right earnest or in the interest of everybody and the firm as a whole. So, the other two things involved in this component, this analysis of the entire budgeting, one component is finding out the information with the help of numbers, calculating the values with the help of numbers, calculating the input and output relationship with the help of numbers right. In case of the master budget we saw that we prepare the detailed budget for one quarter and then we try to find out that what is the budgeted level of performance and with the help of that budget management fixes up the targets right. And those budgets are passed on to the different interest groups, different units and subunits which are called as responsibility centers in the firms, in the organizations and they are communicated with something in advance that this is the expected level of the performance from you, whether it is a purchase of material, whether it is the sales of the finished product, whether it is a collection of the sales, whether it is a payment for purchases or maybe the cash position in the firm the profitability position in the firm or the overall financial position of the firm. All these budgeted statements are prepared before the beginning of that budget period, maybe a week, maybe a month, maybe a quarter 
may be a six month or maybe a year and when it actually that time begins before that we have a statement in our hand which acts as a guiding force and looking at that information or going by that information we say uh, go for the actual performance so that we have the benchmark in our hands if that benchmark is there everybody knows and they remain informed that our performance will be compared against something and if that something is not means our actual performance is not means comparable to that something that budget then maybe the maybe may be held responsible for the low performance so one thing is calculating the information and second thing is using that information for the management decision making so these days means calculation of the information is also very crucial as far as the budgeting process is concerned largely in these days we follow the budgeting process which we call it as bottom to top we don't impose the budget on the lower level people we involve the people lower level people in the budgeting process we ask them to contribute in the budgeting process and tell the firm what can they do for the firm or for the best performance of the firm right so the sales people are asked that looking at the situation in the market the customers requirements the competitive scenario the competitors distribution policies their pricing and so many other things their advertising campaigns the sales force in the market who is directly connected to your distribution channels or the customers they are asked that how much sales you expect that you can do or this firm our company can do in the coming quarter of 3 months right similarly the purchase department is involved that tell that we need different type of materials you know that that you tell that what could be the best source of buying that material and what should be the minimum per unit cost we should pay for buying that different types of the materials so when the purchase department who are directly linked to the purchase process if they are asked and their input is asked so later on they cannot say that while preparing the budgets our inputs were not asked for and it is because of that reason that the now the purchase variances have come up or the variances at the purchase level have come up similarly sales people have told them told the firm told the board that we are going to sell this much of the production in the coming quarter looking at the market conditions and when the actual performance is less than that so they themselves hold uh, responsible themselves and means we can think of taking action against those sales staff who are not performing their duties well so one thing is the first part in the budgeting is uh, say preparing the crucial information strategic information in the form of the budgets starting with the sales forecasting going up to the budgeted balance sheet and then not preparing the one level of the budget which we call as a static budgets but the flexible budgets for the multiple level of the productions putting the system in place so that if any level of the production changes tomorrow then we have the budget either we have the budget with us or we can easily prepare at that time for example in this case we had prepared the budget for three levels 7 lakh uh, 7 uh, million 8 million and 9 million worth of the revenue but actual revenue we found out was somewhere means neither of was not at the neither of the three levels or somewhere in between 8 and 9 and that was 7.6 millions so we had put the formula in place so the moment you change the revenue level from the 8 million to 7.6 million all other figures automatically change so if we even don't have the budget prepared well in advance for the 7.6 million level of the revenue we have put we have created the system put the things in place and we are automatically going to get the results when the actual performance is ready with us and then the comparison between the two becomes more reasonable more sensible and more rational so flexible budgeting means generating this information by way of preparing the budgets is one thing getting the actual performance from the market is the second thing and then using this information budgeted and the actual information for the management decision making for the next time so that if any limitations we have seen here any shortcomings we have found out here those limitations those shortcomings do not come up do not reoccur do not affect our performance in the time to come right so this is the whole objective of the budgeting and we wanted to be nearer to the say the say maximum close to the budgeted est estimates so the, you can understand that how the budgeting process helps the management in the managerial decision making and how it is a very very useful technique for say uh, managerial decision making and part of the management accounting right <clears throat> so now is very very uh, important technique very very uh, useful technique and we have learned it that 
the budgeting and the budgetary process is the first and the foremost. First we discussed was the cost sheet analyzing the whole cost and then going for the actual performance and here it is the budget where we prepare the total estimates right from the cost to the sales to the cash to the profit to the balance sheet and not for the one level but for the multiple levels. So, we miss are going to be helped out and this entire process is going to facilitate the management decision making. So, generating information 1, getting a actual information 2 and then comparing actual with the budget and then say uh, taking appropriate decision at the top level of the firm is the ultimate purpose of this budget and budgetary control and facilitating the management decision making. Here I would like to add one thing that if the firms wanted to be nearer to the budgeted results then it should be means the budgeting should be like that the time horizon of the budgeting should be as short as possible right. Some firms are there who are into the weekly budgeting system that is very expensive because getting that frequent data and preparing the weekly budgets is very difficult. But some firms who have got very advanced IT systems they are even preparing the budgeted uh, uh, say month uh, weekly budgets. At least you can go for the fortnightly budgets for the budget for the 15 days or many firms are largely these days the firms are into the monthly or the quarterly budgeting. So, monthly and quarterly budgeting can very easily be means implemented in the firm. So, shorter the budget horizon nearer the actual performance will be to the budgeted estimates and the overall the overall performance of the firm will improve. So, regarding budget and budgetary control or the budgetary process I will stop here and I think I could uh, say explain it to the larger possible extent that how it is very very useful technique in the management decision making. So, uh, we will stop here with regard to the budget and budgeting process and next time I will start in the next class the next technique that is the standard costing. Till then, thank you very much.